Welcome to Golden Software's video training for Surfer 14. Surfer is a versatile gridding, contouring, and surface mapping software package. In this video, I will briefly explain the different map types available in Surfer. There are 12 map types in Surfer. What type of map you create depends on the type of data you have. If you have vector files like DXF or shape files, or image files like JPEG or TIFF files, you will create a base map. If you have ASCII data in a format like an Excel spreadsheet or DAT file, you can either post the point locations in a base map, post map, or classed post map. Or you can grid the data and display the grid as one of nine grid-based map types. If you have a grid file like a GRD, ASC, or DEM file, you will create one of the grid-based maps from it. Alternatively, if you don't have any data, you can download grid files, vector files, and image files directly from WMS servers into Surfer to display as grid-based maps and base maps. For each map type, you can select the map layer in the Contents window and edit the properties in the Properties window. Now let's create each map type and learn a little more about them. Base maps plot images, points, lines, and or areas, and are created from imported or downloaded files. These files can either be vector boundary files, image files, or ASCII data files. To create a new base map, click Home, New Map, Base, and select one of the base map options. You can click Base to create a base map by importing a vector or image file. You can click Base from Data to create a base map by importing a data file. You can click Base from Server to create a base map by downloading imagery or vectors from a WMS server. And you can create an empty base map by clicking Empty Base Map. We will click Base to load in an image file. In the Import dialog, choose your image or vector file and click Open. Post and Classed Post maps are created from ASCII data files. They both post points at defined XY locations. Post map points can be colored with a continuous color scale based on a data column. Classed Post map points can be binned into discrete groups with custom symbols for each group. To create these maps, click Home, Wizard, Map Wizard. In the Map Wizard Select Your Data dialog, in the Select File section, choose your data file. In the Select Data Columns section, verify the X and Y columns are correct and set the Z column to the column you want to use to color your points. For data files like this, the Data Preview can help you choose these columns. Click Next. In the Map Wizard Select Your Map Type dialog, choose the map or maps you want to create. Click Finish and the map is created with both a post and a classed post layer. Now we will discuss the grid-based map types. The other nine map types in Surfer are based on grid files. There are seven two-dimensional grid-based map types and two three-dimensional grid-based map types. Grid files can be created directly in Surfer from XYZ data files by clicking the Home, Grid Data, Grid Data command. Or you can obtain grid files from other sources, such as downloading into Surfer from WMS servers or by exporting them from another program. Of the seven two-dimensional map types, six can be created as new maps and one must be added to an existing grid-based map. The six that can be created as new maps are contour maps, shaded relief maps, color relief maps, watershed maps, vector maps, and grid values maps. To create these, click Home, Wizard, Map Wizard. In the Map Wizard Select Your Data dialog, in the Select File section, choose a data file or a grid file. Click Next. In the Map Wizard Select Your Map Type dialog, Select the map type or types to create. The map types with the lock icon cannot be created from the selected file type. We'll select all of the 2D grid-based maps and click Finish. 
the map is created with six layers for these map types. The most commonly used grid-based map in Surfer is a contour map. Contour maps are two-dimensional representations of three-dimensional data. Contours define lines of equal Z values across the map extents. The shape of the surface is shown by the contour lines. Color relief maps are raster images based on grid files. Color relief maps assign colors to grid cells based on the Z values in the grid file. By default, hill shading is enabled to emulate a three-dimensional surface. Shaded relief maps are also raster images based on grid files. Shaded relief maps assign colors to grid cells based on the orientation of the Z value relative to a light source. This is the same process that is used in hill shading for color relief maps. Watershed maps display regions draining into a stream, stream system, or body of water. A watershed map reads the data from a grid file and splits the grid up into basin or catchment areas. Stream paths are calculated based on the amount of flow into the grid node from all surrounding grid nodes. Each catchment area has a stream where water will collect from any point within the catchment area. Vector maps display direction and magnitude data using individually oriented arrows. Vector maps can be created using the information in one grid file or two grid files. For one grid vector maps like this one, at any grid node on the map, the arrow points in the direction of the steepest descent, and the arrow length is proportional to the slope magnitude. Two grid vector maps contain Cartesian or polar data. With Cartesian data, one grid consists of X component data and the other consists of Y component data. With polar data, one grid consists of angle information and the other grid contains length information. Grid values maps display the location and values of the grid nodes with labeled symbols. The last two-dimensional grid-based map type is the one that cannot be created as a new map but must be added to an existing two-dimensional grid-based map. This map type is the viewshed map. Viewshed maps show areas that are visible or invisible from a stationary transmitter location. To create one, we'll copy the shaded relief map and add a viewshed to it. To add a viewshed, select the map to add it to and click Home. Add to Map, Layer, View Shed. Then click on the map where you want the transmitter to be located. The last two map types in Surfer are the three-dimensional maps. In Surfer, you can plot a 3D wireframe or a 3D surface to represent your three-dimensional data in 3D. Wireframes are created by connecting Z values along lines of constant X and Y. The more grid lines the grid file has, the more wire lines will be shown on the map. You can overlay contours, post, and vector base maps on top of the wireframe, but it is not possible to overlay images on wireframes, or to overlay multiple wireframes together. To create a wireframe, click Home, New Map, 3D Maps, Wireframe. In the Open Grid dialog, Select your grid file and click Open. To rotate the map, select it and click the Map Tools, Map Tools, Trackball command, and then click and drag to rotate the map. Or else, select the map in the Contents window and then set the rotation and tilt on the View page in the Properties window. 3D surfaces are fully rendered, colorful representations of the grid file. Any other map type can be overlaid with a 3D surface map, including base maps from images. Additionally, multiple 3D surfaces can be layered to create a block diagram. To create a 3D surface, click Home, New Map, 3D Maps, Surface. In the Open Grid dialog, select your grid file, and click Open. You can rotate the map in the same way you rotated the wireframe map. This concludes the video training for map types in Surfer 14. If you have additional questions, 
please contact Golden Software.